Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and to my base review series. And guys, this base in front of you now, it is a Sir Moose Gaming Channel exclusive. It means you will not find this base anywhere else. It was built by the professional base builders over at Clash Champs, guys. Yes, just for you. So we're going to check out a quick replay, see how the base performs. Yes, guys. And we're going to check out what's the best clan castle troops to use. And then we're going to summarize how the base performed in the Legend League over two days. And guys, his performance was amazing. So what's going on here? We've got a queen walk occurring at six o'clock on the left. A nice golem and some bowlers on the right, a king. I do believe that's a funnel. And now the enemy queen is taking on my queen. My queen's says nothing because she's just been taken out. Uh, Ian the Inferno is infernoing away. He's been frozen, guys. So that looks like a pretty good queen walk so far. Is the base in danger? You've got those scatter shots around the town hall. There's a clan castle. Who's inside? I'm not going to tell you. We're going to find out in a minute, guys. So seriously, going forward, I'm going to try and bring you at least one or two professionally built custom bases that you won't find anywhere else each week. So guys, do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out. And of course, we've got loads of awesome attack strategies on the channel as well. And who's that who's just come out of the clan castle? Yes, it's Gary the Ice Golem and Larry the Lava Hound. While you're trying to funnel into the base, is the last thing you want to see is an Ice Golem. And a Lava Hound, guys, especially the Lava Hound, they're really annoying. No offence to Larry the Lava Hound, but if he comes over, sometimes he visits me, I say, Larry, come over. Within 10 minutes, say, Larry, you're too annoying, please go home. Uh, no, not really, I do like Larry, but on the battlefield, he's very, very annoying. Those Lava Pups are still being uh, mischievous there, attacking the healers. There's one in the middle there, I do believe that's... Uh, Lawrence the Lava, he's gone now, he's gone anyway. So there we go guys, here's a quick replay, like I said. His performance in the Legend League then, you want to know how it did. So over a two day period there were 14 attacks against the base. Of those 14 attacks, one was a one star attack and 13 were two star attacks. But guys, only one person managed to score above 80%. This is a really difficult base to take down. And guys, with these bases, the base designer tested it in the Legend League. Initially, there was one three-star attack, so he went back and changed the traps around, and this is the stronger version of the base you are getting. So what are we going to give it out of 10 today, guys? We're going to give this base 9 out of 10. Like I said, 14 Legend League attacks, 13 two stars, but only one above 80%. The rest were 60 and 70%, guys. So if you're looking for a base that won't lose you many trophies and is really difficult to three star, then this is the base for you. So Samu signing out. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. I will catch you later. And guys, remember to practice your funneling. And from myself and Mike the Minion, goodbye.